Peach, y'all. It's uh, October 1st, and uh, I'm done with the paint. I uh, went ahead and did that last panel today. Uh, done and done. No sun on it, so you can't see the sparkles. So trust me, it looks just like the rest of it. So it looks pretty good in the sun. Doesn't it look beautiful? Man, it looks nice. Even though it's a 25-year-old dirtbag trailer, it still looks pretty good. So that's it. That's all I get done today. Uh, working on the Yamaha engine over there, the one I blew up a year ago uh, when we first got the vintage car over to Grattan. Um, Honed the cylinder all it fit the piston and all that stuff. I'm going to need a, a different ring. Um, I bought the piston from Comet Cart Sales and uh, the it's a, it's a Burris piston and the, the envelope inside has a Burris logo, had the ring inside. That, that, that envelope was, was originally sealed. It was already opened when I took the piston out of the box. After I get done honing and fit the piston, I put the ring in and there's 24 thousandths of, of ring end gap. So obviously uh, somebody swapped me out. They wanted a tighter ring for their motor or something. Uh, I don't know if it's somebody that works there or, or whatever. I'm not going to blame them directly, but I bought it from them. And uh, <clears throat> so now I got to buy a ring. I got to buy a ring, a bigger ring uh, than I have, obviously, um, to, get, uh, to get the end gap to an acceptable point. But uh, working on that, uh, today's Friday. The first uh, Tuesday the 5th, the motor will be here from, from uh, Sweet Tech. Uh, they sent it out Wednesday. They sent me the tracking and all that stuff. So um, that's coming. We'll be diving right into that. We're sp get, supposed to get some rain. That's why I wanted to get the front of this thing painted, work on some cart stuff. Uh, we need a longer steering shaft for the Amadog cart, or I have to make another one of those uh, uh, steering wheel hubs, preferably angled. I mean, if you're going to make a hub, you may as well make it angled. And that would that would you know that, that'll that'll bias the length we can make it just make it in the hub. Um, but uh, you know steering shafts cheap. I mean I don't know that the, that the Yamaha will be finished for uh, for for Gratton or not. Um, it's 50-50 at this point. Um, really obviously want to get the the 125 hooked up and ready to go. So um, that's that's what we're gonna do. We'll work on carts for a few days. Uh, we'll get back over here and put the, the truck bed coating like we put on the fenders here on the uh, on the diamond plate and that, that'll be all black and uh, we'll do we'll probably just roll around the tongue and stuff too while we're here uh, maybe we can uh, tape off and just hit the fenders real quick because they look like they they're getting a little dirty from the rain I don't know if you all have noticed but um you can see here where the uh, the grayness you know, it would leave dark lines. That's really why we painted the trailer, because on a white trailer, those gray lines just look terrible. And that roof, the silicone stuff on the roof was bright white, and uh, it wasn't six months, middle of winter. It already looked terrible. So whatever they're spraying on us has ended up on the roof of here, coming down the side. Um, yeah, it's, it's really t it really looks bad. So you can see it here. You know, if you look at it on an angle, you can see it all running down here. Um, it's nice because we'll be able to put some nice wax on here and, and it'll just come right off with, with an orbital, right? But that's it. That's it for uh, October 1st. We'll talk to you all soon. It'll get better. God bless. Hang in there.